picked the right mug for today, didn't I? That's what you call planning theming, really thinking about where this video is going. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. If you've been sticking around here for a while, you will know that I'm a very simple creature. My personality is made up of a limited number of building blocks. Um, Harry Potter, my cat, um, not having a clue what I'm doing in life, and Stranger Things. So when I saw that your fave and mine, the young Millie Bobby Brown, more rich, successful, cool, amazing, talented than I will ever hope to be. Millie Bobby Brown has released her own beauty line called Florence. It looks like this. Not only is it extremely cool, it does also share a name with my cat. So I'm already obsessed. Very much aimed at teenagers, so 28 year old muggins over here thought I'll give that a try. It's vegan, it's cruelty free for all skin types, tested by all the right scientists of the world, and it's a very kind of clean approach to teen beauty. However, this is where the tale begins because I spotted that Florence by Mills was launching, set an alarm on my phone because I thought that'll make a cracking average girl tries. Once that launch date frenzy begins, where you feel like you've got to get everything you want in your basket and check out as quick as possible, Things get a little bit stressful. I don't know about 11, I was the one having a nosebleed because it was all very intense. So I did indeed spend about a third of a month's rent on all these products. <laughs> Not to worry, I was very much reassured about the fact that, hey, this'll make a great testing video, trying out all these makeup bits. I don't think anybody else in the UK will bother doing this because it's really expensive to order all this stuff to the UK. But hey, turns out loads of people tested it. They all got their delivery way before I did. And uh, this video's pretty much irrelevant now, so really glad I spent all that money. That went really well. If I'd just waited one more week before my delivery even arrived from the States, turns out this brand is available in boots. Honestly, this is it for me. This is the final straw. The straw that breaks the camel's back. I am the camel and my back is trying to remain relevant on YouTube, trying to stay on top of trends, trying to create content that'll uh, bring the young folks in. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I've had it up to here. This is the thanks I get. And also, what do you know? I got sent the press pack too. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to me for trying to be down with the children. Seeing as I now have a complete abundance of Florence by Mills products, I thought I'd do a little giveaway. All you gotta do is make sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and then in the comments down below, if you are gonna make Stranger Things themed beauty products, give me an example of a product that you'd make that was Stranger Things themed, and I'll pick the best, most creative one, and I'll send you a whole load of Florence by Mills goodies. How about that, eh? And I am more than ready to get stuck in. I've waited a long time for this bloody box to arrive, so I'm very excited. Little press note says, we hope you enjoyed these products from Florence by Mills, the new Gen Z Focus Beauty Collection. Gen Z, I believe, are the ones one younger than millennials, and I'm pretty sure they're the generation that are probably gonna save the world. So um, it's nice of us to consider them when making beauty products. Florence is about defining beauty on your own terms, a collection of clean, simple, and fun products designed to help you play with how you want to feel, look, and live. Cute. We're gonna start with the Florence by Mills Dreamy Dew Moisturizer. I've gotta say the packaging is pretty perfect. It's this like matte purple color. It's super duper cute and the little like lowercase font. Oh, it smells like cucumbers quite strongly of cucumbers. I didn't think there'd be any scent really because obviously teenage skin can be a bit all over the place. So I thought they'd kind of steer clear of fragrance, but that, that smells quite strongly of cucumbers. I wasn't really expecting that. It's kind of fresh, but also, I mean, that's a cucumber. <laughs> That's a bad lint. does feel lovely though, it feels quite hydrating actually. The base product that Millie has gone for for her range is called the Like A Light Skin Tint. So it is not a foundation, it is nothing thick or really kind of noticeable. I'm guessing this is just going to be basically a tinted moisturiser. Plant-based oils and nourishing moisturisers to make our skin look and feel smoother like a little dewdrop. A little dewdrop, huh? I bought the shade L. O 40 but then we're sent the shade LM60 so I haven't really got a clue which of these is going to be right. I might actually go for the darker one seeing as it's going to be pretty sheer anyway. Uh, it's got a little pump on it and I'm going to stick with fingers for now just to kind of try and blend it out and see 
see what we get. Ooh, that's actually giving me more colour than I was expecting it to. Let's just keep rubbing that in and hope for the best. My skin at the moment isn't actually too bad. I have a little bit of redness going on all the time. I'm just quite a red face kind of person. <laughs> just constantly embarrassed by my own actions. A couple of quite light, light gear blemishes going on around my chin because periods. Am I right, ladies? It's gathering a little bit at my hairline, but I actually think I put a bit too much product on there. Just giving me a bit of a glow. It's made my skin look really, really healthy. And you can see like the little sheen that's going on across my cheekbones and stuff. It's really, really nice, actually. I think that color is probably a little bit too warm for me. I'm looking a little bit orange, a little bit a bit of orange but I actually do really love the finish because that glow is coming through and it's kind of evened out my skin tone itself a little bit it's definitely not hiding anything though I can still see my freckles on my nose through it I can still see the little lines in my forehead through it and I can still see the spots on my chin if you are quite confident with your skin if you literally just want to make it look a little bit more radiant maybe add a tiny little bit more color a little bit of a glow going on but if you are trying to cover up spots this isn't going to do anything for you. It's just going to add a little bit of a glow going on. However, there is also a concealer and it's pretty much identical packaging to the foundation, which is quite cute. They're like a little matching pair, but this is, oh, I was not expecting that at all. It's got like a little cooling metal tip to it. That's really nice packaging. Weightless light coverage concealer. So again, if you're spotty, this might not actually do much in the terms of actually covering things up. It might just even things out a little bit. Oh, that does feel really nice and cold. Ooh, that actually looks quite light. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in and blend that with my beauty blender and just do a little bit of a dab. What I would say about this is if you are used to quite full coverage makeup, if you're using like your Makeup Revolution proper concealers that pretty much like hide everything with a layer over the top, um, this is quite different from that. I would say this is a lot softer. It's kind of just a little bit like you've put a very lightweight filter over your skin, almost, because I can still see like slight little imperfections just taking it down a notch. And I can still see the freckles on my nose just slightly down a notch. Eye bags the same, just down a notch. Like, it's quite a nice effect, really. Tint and Tame Brow Gel. When our brows are acting like wild things, tell me about it, Mills, my friend these slugs on my face out of control i got the shade dark brown i think which might have been a bit risky that is the tiniest the tiniest look how small that is that's hilarious i haven't got anything on my brows right now other than um i did dye them last night so there is a little bit of color already there anyway and i'm gonna go for the free and fluffy approach because i'm enjoying a bit of a a wild brow at the moment i think that's added quite a nice amount of color actually not too much but it's definitely made it a little bit darker and that tiny little brush makes it really easy to like guide the hairs exactly where you want them quite rate it if you've got like um like a brow product like this that's got a little brush to it i tend to like backcomb my brows almost on themselves almost like you're backcombing your old emo hair it makes them look absolutely insane and you're probably like lucy what the hell are you doing but it almost like adds a bit more volume and it really like lets the product get all over the hairs i feel like that is really given me <laughs> quite a wild brow there didn't really mean to make it that crazy <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> they are the eyebrows of an 80s russian at the beginning of this video i had visions of like 11 nancy max winona Ryder herself beauty visions feel like i'm more bob newbie right now <laughs> maybe even Samwise Ganji, pre-Stranger Things. Are you all right, Mr. Frodo? <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Frodo? Wow. Okay, well, at least we, hey, we know it works. It's guided them into place. It's just added a lot of color, which I wasn't anticipating. I should probably go for one color lighter. Other thing I have to test is the Cheek Me Later Cream Blush. Creamy blush dries down to a powder finish that doesn't slip or slide off skin, named after Millie's BFFs. That's so cute. If I had a makeup line, I'd like to do that. So I got the shade Shy Shy and then typically was also sent the shade Shy Shy. Um, but I thought this one looked absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping the camera will pick this color up true, but it's like almost like a kind of pale peachy nude color. I'm hoping this will pick up on my skin, although 
that is actually a bit too light even for me. So if you are super pale, then that will be a beautiful colour. On me, you can't even see that. Oh, that's such a shame because that formula feels lovely. But even building that up, I can't really see anything. I feel like I'm just dabbing my face over and over and adding my own redness. Maybe next time I go to Boots, I'll see what other colours there are though. <laughs> now that I know it's in Boots and I don't have to wait about six weeks for it to arrive from America. Do you know what? This whole thing is just kind of clicked into place. This is very glossy, eh? very very glossy isn't it it's like the same textures the same kind of motto the same kind of vibe and approach to beauty very glossy clever well that's a bit disappointing i was hoping that would be one of the standout products i was really excited for that but uh never mind we're gonna finish off with the zero chill face mist when our skin has zero chill we reach for this botanical rose infused spray to restore the good vibes lovely dance and shake before use here we go. So let's do a little spritz over the top here. That's a really nice spray. It's really, really light. It gives you such like a, like a really fine mist and it doesn't smell too rosy either. So impressed with all this, you know? I mean, I feel like the eyebrows have done me dirty here. I feel like they've ruined everything, but I feel like my skin on closer look it is settling slightly into the lines around my eyes and the lines on my forehead. But I mean, Gen Zers probably haven't got any lines yet, so they'll be all right. I love those skin products. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna be putting them into my like normal day-to-day -day foundation options, you know. These would just be perfect for school and college and uni and that kind of time. I really, really like them. I really rate this range. Oh, there is something left. There's a lip product somewhere in and amongst all this. Here, the Glow Yeah Lip Oil. No more dry lips, African mango butter. Ooh, and Paracress Flower keeps us looking fresh and cute. I mean, I'll take what I can get. So is this gonna be mango scented? Oh, it's, it's got like a little pink tint to it. I mean, it's about as exciting as a lip oil gets really. It hasn't got any scent to it or a taste or anything. It's a nice like little finishing touch the vibe of the makeup and it's nicer than a lip gloss it's the same kind of like little bit of shine going on but it's not sticky at all it feels very very smooth that's all the makeup that's everything i've got to test i'm absolutely i'm very impressed with all of those my school was really really strict on wearing makeup but i actually feel like so much of that is almost imperceptible on your face the concealer the brows the lip oil like i think i would have been able to get away with all of that at school and it just would have given me a little bit more confidence the only thing i would say though is i love having a bit of a glow to my skin like this because i've got very dry skin so most of the time i am as matte as you like i am matte leblanc i am matte mcconaughey i am matte baker so i really like products that do this to my skin if you are quite oily you might not like this effect and you might want to be adding some powder to it and i don't think there was a powder which could be a nice little addition as long as it's quite like a light finely milled powder finally milled the skincare line was actually probably more extensive than the makeup line which i thought was interesting so in the collection there is a magic micellar cleansing gel i think this is what millie bobby brown was using in that video <laughs> where she's literally like okay so i'm now gonna use my cleanser and uh Oh, that feels so nice. It's literally taking off all my makeup. Bit of a strange PR move, that video, wasn't it? Um, anyway, this is the micellar cleansing gel. It literally just says massage onto wet or dry skin or use as a makeup remover. Apply to dry skin, wipe off with tissue. Not sure about that. So there's that one and there's also a face wash, the Clean Magic Face Wash. That one comes in the purple packaging and literally has the exact same instructions. Even the bit about dry skin wipe off with a tissue. I would say, don't do that. Wash your face afterwards with a flannel. <laughs> just, just do yourself a favor, all right? There's the Get That Grime Face Scrub, um, which I'm interested to try actually because I don't know how scrubby this scrub is gonna be. I don't want no scrubs that are gonna give me broken capillaries, you know? I might actually just try that now, put a little bit on the back of my hand and see how scrubby it really is. Oh, that's a very, very fine grain to it. Feels nice though. It's gonna make my hand really soft. That's that cucumber smell again. Oh my God, does everything smell of cucumbers? I'm not sure about that. Everything bloody stinks of cucumbers. <laughs> What a strange scent to choose. You'd think that you'd go for something maybe like sweeter or just like cleaner and fresher. 
I don't know, I feel if you're gonna add a scent into things, why? Why are you choosing a gourd? And then there's some quite interesting little treatment products too. Um, these are the ones that's got everybody talking. So these are the Swimming Under the Eyes gel pads. The cute thing about these though, is that they are shaped like whales. I don't know if you can see, I've got a bit of a wobbly whale going on. <laughs> Kind of looks a bit like a ghost also, or maybe just some form of punctuation. I am not sure how biodegradable stuff like that is. I suspect probably not very. On a more immediate, point of consideration. Um, I will say that in the UK, these little under eye whale patches are priced at £34. £34. What? That's a stretch for me. For teenagers, who this is definitely very much aimed at, no question about it, that's insane. Like that is an absolutely insane price. And do you know what? I did think when I put the order in for all this, this is expensive for teenagers to be buying. The other things we've got are the One Swipe Glow Wipe Treatment Pads. Again, I mean, not good for the planet, especially if they're literally one use products. Like, I feel like we're not on board with that idea anymore. They're just your standard little pads that are normally filled with glycolic acid, I think. But I mean, quite nice to see that kind of level of skincare being promoted as, like, you know, like quite important to look after your skin to that extent. Um, from a young age. Foliating blender, fruit enzymes, glycolic acid and willow bark work together to ditch dead skin and give skin a brighter look. So they're literally just like a bit of an exfoliating. Let's think about the planet here, like that's not good. They're just wet wipes in another form basically. And last but not least, I'm quite intrigued to try this. I might try this this evening actually now that I filmed this video. This iridescent purple peel off mask, the mind glowing peel off mask helps to reset our skin after a tiring week. Purifying charcoal, witch hazel, lavender oil, keeps skin cute and happy. And it's obviously peel off, so that's very exciting. We all know how satisfying that is. Whoa. Bloop. <laughs> I mean, that literally looks like something from the upside down. Ah, I don't want to drip that on the floor, but that's the color. Okay, that's all, bye. I've literally spilled that everywhere. Oh, it smells nice though. It does smell very lavendery. I've literally got that everywhere. Great, that is everything. That is everything. I told you I got a bit carried away. Why did I buy all this? <laughs> I just thought it would be a great video, but uh, it turns out I'm too late anyway. So I'm never trying, never making an effort ever again. So that is Average Girl Tries Florence by Mills. what do you think? I am extremely impressed. I think those base makeup products are beautiful. I don't think you really need anything else in that line. Maybe a very light mascara. I feel like maybe there'll be some kind of very natural highlight added at some point as well, because everyone loves a highlight. And the skincare, I will for sure get back to you and update you on at some point. I will either put it in a vlog and show you how I get on with it all, or I will do a specific video if that's something you guys would like to see. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I do think it's a bit of a shame to see new brands still not really thinking about the eco side of things though. Otherwise, bloody very impressed. Packaging is gorgeous. The vibe is gorgeous. I love the message. Um, very cool. I'm very impressed and I wouldn't expect anything less. I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you going to be trying out Florence by Mills for yourself? Have you got your eye on any of these products? Have you been intrigued by the brand so far? Make sure you get involved in the comments down below. I'll be hanging around. We can have a good chat about all this. We just talk about stranger things if you want. Even if you don't care about any of this, can you please let me know what you think about Hopper? I mean, I won't say any more in case you haven't seen it, but Hopper Theories, welcome in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this one, then please do give it a little thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you are new around here. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They are both at Lucy Jane Wood. Oh, and don't forget the giveaway too. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.